Hi everybody and welcome back to well, That's My Dog. Now today we're going to be talking about how to choose the right collar for your dog. Now many people might think that picking a collar can be the easiest thing to do, but there are many things that you have to take into account and you might not even think you take them into account, but you actually are thinking about these sort of things. So today we're going to be talking about how to pick the right collar for your dog. We're going to be including five different things you need to look out for when picking a collar. So yes, let's just get started. <coughs> Now before we do get started, do go down below to the comments and let me know what dog do you have? What is your dog breed? What are their colour? What's their fur like? Let me know as much as you know about your dog down below in the comments. I absolutely love looking through and seeing what different dogs are going to be listening to our music and watching our videos. So yes, definitely do let me know down below in the comments, but let's just jump straight in. Now the first thing that you need to look out for is whether you want your doggy collar to be adjustable. These are called the flat dog collar. Maya has a flat dog collar as you might be able to see in other videos he's got a little scarf on we want some love okay but and we need to see your collar babe you might be able to see here Mana has got a collar on here this is a flat dog collar so it is easily adjustable with a buckle or is yours more like a belt yours is more like a belt um, and it just means that we can loosen it or we can tighten it at any point if Mana gains a bit of weight or if his fur gets a bit too long we can easily adjust it now the second collar you could look into is a breakaway collar a breakaway collar is basically where if a certain amount of strength gets put on the collar it will just easily break off this is perfect if you have a puppy or if you have a dog that likes to run off or a dog that likes to get into a little bit of mischief this can be a great collar for them because you don't necessarily want your dog to get caught anywhere and they could effectively strangle themselves as well which is quite a scary thought but definitely something to consider uh, so a breakaway collar is great for dogs like that however with this collar the one thing to take into account is that is that because it is a breakaway collar if a certain amount of force will get put on it it will just break away so if your dog is one that will like to pull on the lead they might pull it too much and then they'll just be loose and if your dog likes to run away a lot this might not be an option for you because when you go to a park they're going to pull off and they're just going to run off so definitely think about whether this will suit your dog or not however if this doesn't necessarily suit your dog there is one that's called a speciality collar this basically means things like training collars like harnesses and that sort of thing that are specific for a specific need obviously a harness is to help with behavioral training so to train your dog to stay close or to train them to do sort of training methods with them so using something like that might be useful for you guys as well obviously a harness you can also take out for walks with you if your dog likes to pull or if they like to run off easily because it's a lot harder for them to get out now number four is the material of your dog's collar there are many different types of material you can get for collars there are leather nylon and also chain i would say that nylon especially but also leather are the most comfortable for your dog so if you want your dog to be nice and pampered and comfortable nylon is definitely the type of material you want to get for your dog now another thing you might want to take into account is whatever fur type your dog has if they have a thick fur you might want to get one that is easily adjustable all the time or it has a long adjustable strap or if your dog goes for regular haircuts if they put weight on easily lots and lots of different things to take into account and to which collar you should have for example if i had a dog that had really really thick fur but went to the hairdressers a lot i would normally get a really really adjustable one one that had a long adjustable strap or i could even punch my own holes into one um, and that will just help me to adjust it whenever they need as well but that is it for this week's video thank you all so so much for watching don't forget to like i say let me know down below what is your dog what are their breed what is their fur like what are they like or in general? Let me know down below in the comments. Also, don't forget to follow us over on our social media channels. We are on Facebook, Twitter, and also Instagram. So if you have any of those, definitely do give us a follow. Also, don't forget to give this video a big, big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. You can also subscribe by clicking this little button over here. And you can also check out our previous video, which is all the way on the other side of the screen, if you would like to learn more and more about your dog. Thank you all so, so much for watching. And me and Miley here, we'll see you next week for next week's video. Bye.